All right, how's it going everybody? I have a new video for you today. Today I'm going to be talking about Jesse Raspberry. Now, we remember Jesse from the original game being this kind of awkward, uh, timid tech girl that had a huge crush on Cloud, and they've changed this in the remake to her being this extroverted, flirtatious, charming individual that we all know and love. She had a great voice actor with Erica Lindbeck, but I wanted to talk about Jesse's fate. Now, Jesse's fate is something that is, you know, to be determined when it comes to Remake and Rebirth. Now, with the end of Final Fantasy VII Remake, we realized that there were the Death of Whispers, and now some characters confirmed to be alive are Zack and Biggs, but we don't really know about Jesse. So the thing is, in the original timeline, with the pillar fight and the plate falling, Jesse is confirmed to have died there. Um, she fought very hard to keep the pillar from falling, you know, and killing everybody in the Sector 7 slums, but unfortunately she was overwhelmed and she was killed and Cloud and Tifa met her on the pillar. So in the original timeline of Final Fantasy VII, Jesse does die on that pillar. But when it comes to the new timeline, I feel like Jesse is in for an even crueler fate. You see, in one aspect, she is dead from being at the pillar fight, right? And fighting the Shinra troopers. But in this new timeline, even if she survives, even if she's there at the Gold Saucer or she's there with Biggs at the Orphanage, it's not going to be a happy ending for Jesse. In the sense that I've been reading through the Materia Ultimania. I just got this in the mail. I bought it recently. I went through it in the last three days and it had some really cool information. I really recommend you guys check it out if you're interested in more uh, information about the game. And I realized something that was said in here that I didn't realize when playing the original game. During Chapter 4, Mad Dash, you go to the topside plate called the 7-6 Annex to visit Jesse's parents, steal the card, and get the blasting agent from the warehouse. The problem with this is I didn't realize after all this time that Jesse's parents lived on the Sector 7 plate. And what this means is that during the plate fall, whether it was the original timeline or not, this has been confirmed to fall no matter what. And because of this, it is confirmed that Jesse's parents are dead. When I look at the remake Ultimania book thing on Jesse's mother, it has a tidbit from character artwork artist Asami Sugiyama. And she says, From the start we knew Jesse's mom wasn't going to survive the fall of the plate, despite everything she'd already endured. So I was designing her with tears in my eyes. I think I made her a lot calmer and more composed than her energetic daughter. So the cruel feat that I'm mentioning is that during the original timeline, Jesse is killed in the pillar. But in this new timeline, after the Whispers have been defeated, Jesse is in for a cruel fate because even if she does end up surviving, her whole mission in Avalanche, which was to stop the reactors from taking her father's spirit energy or soul and sucking it up and burning it out into nothing, is all in vain because due to the falling of the plate in Sector 7, her parents, her father, is already dead. So even if she does end up surviving this endeavor, as sad as it is, Jesse has to deal with the fate and the fact that even though she's alive, her parents are ultimately dead and her mission of saving her father is now over. So it's unfortunate, it's really sad. You know, I got to learn things like this in the Materia Ultimania for Remake. You can get this on Amazon. It's pretty cheap. I highly recommend you get it. Uh, you're not gonna hear anything about Rebirth or Whispers or meta sort of plot things, but you will kind of realize little details and things like this that I found out with Jesse's parents. So I want to thank you guys for watching the video. Let me know what you think about Jesse's fate, um, her cruel fate in terms of regardless whether she's alive or not and what happened to her parents. That's the rest of the video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.